Uh, hey everyone, so uh, it's Paul from MageCloud.net and MageCloud Agency, and I'm happy to have one more guest for our business chat, uh, Mr. Tommy. One of the main staff are like he's he's the like he's the uh, the CEO of the sex shop DK. Uh, that's first of all, it's unusual, right? Like not everyone in the sex business those days. And number two, which I really you know uh, I'm really happy to 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 share is like he's from the Scandinavian countries, so. Are, I mean, I'm really passionate about Scandinavian design and mentality and Hugo style and stuff like that. So I really, I really hope that he can bring a little bit more value about how e-commerce is doing in e in, in Scandinavian business, you know, area. So uh, hi, Tommy. Thanks you. Thank you for being with us. Um, yeah, hey, Paul. Thank you. So our like uh, the, the first question that I have is pretty generic. So what brings you to the e-commerce? Can you tell me a little bit more about you know how it sort of started and? Yeah, it's actually uh, so at first, yeah, it's uh, a bit different um, like market that we are in, and it's also a bit unusual story for me how I ended here. So I'm actually an accountant. But a good friend of mine uh, started this business in 2011-12 um, and he, he started it, yeah, and then I got into it in like uh, 16 where I helped him with the finance and the accounting, but I got more, more and more excited about this uh, e-commerce and all the, uh, the marketing about it. So. Um, when the founder Michael, he uh, who started it, he wanted to to try some new things. I said, "Yeah, why not? Let me uh, try to uh, to uh, to buy you out, and then I'm gonna gonna go further with it and and try to uh, to build it even bigger and uh, even more." So that's actually how I I got into it and to tell you a little about our company so it was started of michael but um but like it was a small business he started from from home and and did this drop shipping but in over like three or five years michael uh, actually gained the business to be one of the one of the leading web shops in the market for sex toys in denmark and right now we have shops in Denmark, Germany, and Sweden. Is it is it like a physical locations or that's like a warehouses? Yeah, uh, right now we uh, we have our own warehouse, so mm -hmm. uh, we have a, a big warehouse in uh, in Denmark where we mm -hmm. ship out from. Um, so yeah, sounds good. So so basically, can you tell me a little bit more how it's all organized? So basically, the warehouse is when you you store all the inventory stuff. Uh, you have sex shop DK, which is the website, right? Or maybe you're running like a multiply different uh, websites. Yeah, like uh, we actually um, do it like we we have uh, we have multiple um, stores. Mm -hmm. So and we run it yeah in uh, Magento, where we run like a store from for Germany and one for Sweden and one for Denmark in mm -hmm. one Magento installation. So it's easy for us to like maintain the products and everything about the websites and the designs so first that's like an easy way to combine it all uh, and then we use our our warehouse mm -hmm. to ship all the orders out from uh, and actually with this like setup we have made and have like uh, implemented with with you guys we are actually um, able to ship out all orders that are made before 9 p.m. Mm -hmm. to be shipped out and delivered the next day. Uh, what do you use for this as a shipment provider? Who's, who, how do you ship it? Yeah, we are, we are using this, um, this Scandinavian or, or Danish uh, shipment called PostNord. Mm -hmm. So they are... Uh, like the, the biggest one in, in Denmark mm -hmm. um, and they can they can actually do it pretty fast and they they do a, a good job uh, do, do you happen to sell also on the different marketplaces or this is all go through your website we actually right now we're actually only selling on our website so mm -hmm. because of the products that we sell we have like some 
uh, some kind of issues with the with the different market marketplaces. Mm -hmm. They've tried to to like um, use some of the marketplaces like Amazon and so on, but we always get hit by we we cannot make any advertising and mm -hmm. it actually only like drop the price and uh, and it, it it doesn't make any any good for us as mm -hmm, we can mm -hmm. see right now mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. so then the question is if your website web store it's like the main source of your business are what's the primary channel for you to market that like is it organic traffic is it like social media marketing email can you share a little bit more about that you know what's the what's the channel right now for the sexual business how yeah. to get how to, yeah <laughs> it's yeah and it's funny it's always funny to talk about the sex toys because it's 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 a bit different but but it's still um it's still a product that has to be sold and 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 we have to do it like all other like nice to have things it's like an a, a hobby article like people going hunting and so on that that's the markets that we are competing against so uh but we don't we are not allowed to like advertise on facebook and we're not allowed to to advertise on many uh, places so our main focus is on um, google ads and and sale right now mm -hmm. and then we we do a lot of um in the past couple of yeah it's almost the last year we have like focusing a lot on uh, the on the newsletters mm -hmm. because we can see that um if we can maintain the customers there, then we can also use a little more um, to get the first buy, you know. So we can use a little more on Google Ads if we get them on the newsletter because we are, we are maintaining the, the customers at our place. Um, and the newsletters is really getting to be a big part of our, our, our sales channels. If, I mean, I don't know if you can speak about the kind of uh, the numbers, but in terms of like percentage, like, or do, do you have any numbers like organic? That's whenever like X percentage of the traffic ads. It's like different yeah. one. So emails, I, like... I, I don't have the, the exact numbers right now, but, but I know that ads is, it's like our, our main, uh, main channel. It's, mm -hmm. I think it's about, it's between 60 and 80 uh, percent of our um, that's google ads all right yeah, okay for our first first buyers for the first buyers all right yeah. okay okay um, and then uh, our newsletters are getting to be a bigger bigger part of that so like it's pretty similar to the other you know customers that we uh, spoke in the past like it's pretty similar like the new account acquisition it's always coming from the google ads yeah. So this is this is this really a, a, a stuff yeah. that's not surprise for me. Are like, uh, can you tell me like about? Let's talk a little bit more about the sex shop in general. Any specific stuff related to that? Like I don't know. I never buy this stuff online, so <laughs> even offline. But I mean, like, what's do 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 you know like uh, what's the specific challenges you know from the like for for the customers right? Like are. I mean, those days they don't want to be tracked with the cookies. They like, even if it's delivery, I know I, I used to work with one of their sex shop uh, business in the United States. And one of the challenges customers, they don't want to, uh, they want to, they don't even want to receive the package to the house because in the US, they just bring the sex, you know, the, the package right in front to your door and leave. Right. Yeah. So, so they, they really worry about that. So they even develop like a system when, uh, instead of um, providing my uh, direct uh, address, I could pick up the location and then kind of get the package out of the USPS uh, station. All right. Yeah. So, um, what about you guys? Do you face like similar issues? So we we uh, yeah we are facing some of the the same issues as as you said. You don't buy that online. Nobody does if you ask them. So, but but we see they do and. For us, the main goal is that it's 100% discreet. So nobody knows that you're buying sex toys. So mm -hmm. we are we're using a lot of effort to tell people that, and that's also one of our bullet points. So we always, so, but it's not only the package, you know, 
right now it's also on your bank account you have to be sure okay there's nothing about sex toys there mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so we have to make sure on all levels like bank account delivery uh, emails so oh. we have to be very discreet and that's um, that's not easy for us because when we send an email we send it from our main company main mm -hmm. and people are, are thinking who are they I don't know I have I have not uh, ordered something from from this company but they have <laughs> um, so that is that is actually one of uh, one of the big barriers for us uh, to, to really work with uh, we can see uh, in the last five years uh, a lot of has happened on that uh, place but still we still actually see someone they don't want to buy anything from us because we have the name sexshop.dk mm -hmm. they don't want to have that on their browser mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so that's also uh, one of the reasons why we um, for yeah one and a half year ago we bought one of our competitors which is a more like discreet name it's mm -hmm. called Vink Vink mm -hmm. and we use that to be even more discreet so mm -hmm. we're actually trying in the same market with two different websites to like uh, trying to catch two different uh, segments mm -hmm. Um, the ones that are very, very, very discreet, and the ones that are only discreet. <laughs> mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So, uh, you, you just started a great topic about some acquisition from the other, you know, uh, websites. Mm -hmm. um, I like out of my history, I don't really remember any of my customers to to acquire, you know, any competitors. Can you can you tell a little bit more about like how this process works? How you how you choose, you know, which website you wanna. Uh, um yeah so to be honest it was actually because this competitor uh, had other businesses so he really wanted to get out of the market and, and mm -hmm. sell his uh, his web shop so he came to us um and our first like our first thought was just no way <laughs> we have <laughs> enough um but in other way we could see a lot of like um we could get more effective and it could uh, bring us a lot of value that we bought this. At first it was like, if we buy it, nobody else does it. So we can remove a market, uh, um, we can remove uh, our competitor from the market. Mm -hmm. uh, two, we can use it for a sale and for uh, some advertising to see, okay, how is it going? And three, that we could use it for like the customers that didn't want to go to Shake's shop mm -hmm. because of the name. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So that was actually like, okay, we found like a lot of good things about it. So we said, okay, we let's do it. Um, and then it was actually just, he was also running it in a, in a Magento mm -hmm. uh, installation. So it was pretty easy for us to like um, overtake this. Mm -hmm. to, like it was get the keys to the car and yeah. then you can run it and then we set up with you guys we set up some uh, some syn synchronizations mm -hmm. uh, at first so it pretty much runs automatic mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. so it was uh, pretty easy uh-huh so let me ask you uh let's 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 for now let's for now forget about sex shop as a business let's imagine like i'm a merchant right i have my website i have my customers i have the traffic um uh what's this like what what do you think like as a strategy for me to sell it how do you like how do i uh supposed to evaluate what how much my business cost you know uh do you have any tips for that like like to get starting with that with a brand new business i i have a like if you have an idea to a to a web shop no no for example i already have established website i've yeah. got let's say fifty thousand of traffic I'm selling something like my revenue, let's say whenever one, 100K a month, or yeah. how, how I can uh, estimate what my business worth, you know, that's probably will be interesting for our readers. Yeah, that's, yeah, to, to like uh, estimate how, how much it's worth. That's, <laughs> uh, that's one of the, yeah, <laughs> one million questions, you know. 
So it's always, uh, it's always, it, it has always to do with the, who are the buyers. Mm -hmm. So at, for us, it was pretty easy because we knew Magento. Mm -hmm. So for us, it actually has had some, some worth, but for another buyer that didn't knew anything yeah. about Magento, it, it wouldn't have the same value, you know? So you always have to look at who are the buyers in the market and do you know them? Because if you know them and know what they are looking for, the value it's can huge. increase. Yeah. yeah. But, but in terms in terms of like, uh, let's, let's say for example, if I wanna, if wanna, if I wanna like uh, make a, like acquisition of this certain agency, let's say, I know there is a like 1.2 multiplier of the annual revenue. So you take like annual revenue, multiply 1.2, and that's how much the company might cost. Yeah. Uh, do you have like any specific formula that you have in mind, you know, like how? how yeah, yeah, of course. And we also have like, now I'm, I'm from the accounting business. So yeah, that, that's, I, why I, I asking, that, that, <laughs> that's why I'm asking, man. That's why I'm asking. I'm doing a lot of calculations. <laughs> so, and, and, and we do, do a lot of them. So, but I don't want to go to the specific. I, I, I more want to say that there are a lot of like factors that you have to look at. You have to look at the, uh, the setup of the company, also mm -hmm. the setup of, of mm -hmm. the web mm -hmm. shop that mm -hmm. you buy. Mm -hmm. But you also have to see which market are in. So mm -hmm. go to, um, I don't know, go to uh, Ahrefs or any other um, website to mm -hmm. check, okay, what is this market? How, how, how is this marking running right now? Is it decreasing or increasing? So mm -hmm. um, to see what, what are the, mm -hmm. what are like the possibilities in this market. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, all right, so that, that's a great topic. Are, can I ask you a little bit more specific about like, our, again, a little bit out of the sexual business, but in general, our, Let's say I'm a business owner. I have established a website and store in Germany, United Kingdom, United States, and I want to kind of spread my business and I want to enter a Scandinavian market. Can you share a little bit more about this, like yeah. Scandinavian market? What's the specific or kind of maybe like a quick, quick takeaway, you know, key, key, key points? Yeah. So the, the quick key, um, key to take, with you from this is actually that Scandinavian is not, um, you cannot see Scandinavian as one market. Mm -hmm. You have to see the different countries as different markets. Mm -hmm. That's a, a lesson that we had to learn. So in, in 2016, they, they got some, Sex Shop DK got some, um, some capital added to, um, to like expanding to Sweden. But at first, we like thought it was, yeah, it was, we can just uh, make a translation and let it run. But the Swedish buyers are just very, very different from the Danish ones. So like in Denmark, we are maybe more uh, focusing on pricing and delivery. So fast delivery and a good price. In Sweden, they are like more used to the delivery time is, is can be like one to three days. It does don't have to be like 24 hours. Um, and they are more um, loyal customers. So if you can, it's harder to get them inside your, mm -hmm. uh, your, your nest, mm -hmm. uh, but it's, it's uh, you're keeping them there. They're not that. They're more mm -hmm. focusing on, for example, uh, environmental mm -hmm. um, packaging or something like that. Mm -hmm. So it it it's like different markets, but um, um, but also markets that are very like first movers on many things. I think mm -hmm. so. It's 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 like an easy one to start up with, but. Mm -hmm. Uh, uh, remember not to just post a lot of money in it. You have to mm -hmm. like wait a little and let it let it grow. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, let, mm -hmm. let time do its thing. Sounds good. So, uh, 
couple of things that I really are always asking my customers. Um, if you revert back, like over the entire time when you're with the company, uh, do you remember any specific kind of mistakes that, you know, something that went wrong, you know, uh, that you release after like three years that was all like, this was the wrong one. And what's the good things? What's the wins? Like maybe unexpected stuff that happens. You did not expect that, you know, the good stuff uh, that come out of nowhere, you know, share your story. Yeah. So to be, to be honest, this, this thing about the expanding to another country was actually like um, a, a, a big, big, big mistake <laughs> because it was, it cost a lot of money mm -hmm. and we didn't get that uh, out of it. So, but one of the, the, the bad or the big mistakes about it was also that we did it ourselves. Mm -hmm. We did not con consolidate with uh, a local um, agency there mm -hmm. or a local, I don't know, marketeer or something like that, mm -hmm. that could tell us, okay, so this is totally wrong. The Swedish mm -hmm. people will never buy mm -hmm. it like this. They're mm -hmm. focusing on this and so mm -hmm. on. So that, that's actually one of the biggest mistakes mm -hmm. um, that we've done. That's this, this expanding to Sweden without actually know the market. Mm -hmm. And at the same time, focusing all the energy on Sweden. So we forgot the home market. Mm -hmm. So it was like bad time doubles. So mm -hmm. <laughs> that's, that's like... I think I want to, to show people this that okay, you have to like always remember your home market and then always get get the right consulting for, for the for for other markets so you're not just trying to make a copy of your your, mm -hmm. uh, your mm -hmm. webshop. Uh uh one, once I know that you have this like a negative uh story about getting into the new market, uh do you have any plans? maybe try it once again with the right way, go into the UK, Germany. I know Germany is probably about sex shop. They're more open country <laughs> yeah. from, from what I know. They actually are. And uh, it's, it's for me, I, I, I didn't knew anything about the, uh, the sex shop markets before I got into it, but I can, I can see, and we can see in the analyzing um, analysis and, and uh, statistics and so on that it's very, very different from country to country. And, and Germany are, as you said, also, they are, um, they, they are, uh, what do you call it? They are, they are like- Open-minded. Uh, Open-minded, yeah. <laughs> and they are like uh, two steps ahead, uh, ahead of Denmark. So we can see, okay, the things that are like um, uh, cool in, in Germany right now, they come to Denmark like in five and 10 years. So, uh -huh. Uh, we can see it, it in that way. So, but to uh, answer your question, we are actually trying to um, to start it up in Sweden again. Mm -hmm. We have always had it in Sweden, but uh, with like low um, resources. Mm -hmm. So, but now we are uh, starting it up again. I made an appointment with uh, with a Swedish marketeer, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and she is helping us like get into the market again. Mm -hmm. And we can actually see that the um, that the revenue is uh, is um, uh, increasing mm -hmm. uh, very good. So okay, sounds good. Sounds mm -hmm. good. Uh, what about positive stuff? You know, something that unexpected, yeah. like kind of luck that happened. <laughs> yeah. So uh, the 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 best luck that we had was actually that the, the Fifty Shades of Grey um, uh -huh. trilogy got out. <laughs> the, the market uh, actually uh, run up for, uh, what do you say, 20 to 25% just because of these movies and, uh, and books. So that was pretty lucky. <laughs> um, so that, that was really a, really a good thing for us. Um, but another thing that we did that was really lucky was like was using pop-ups for uh, newsletter signups. We have always thought of it like like this pop-ups are annoying. We don't want to do that for customers. 
customers want this discrete web shop where they can buy their stuff. Um, but actually, this pop-up helped us a lot. It was just like our newsletter um, list was just exploding. So in a couple of, in, in one week, we had a thousand new, um, new leads mm -hmm. on our uh, newsletter. So na 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 now you, you bring my interest here. So that was the pop-up just that just come up when someone land on the page? Yeah, we, are, we, are, we have done it uh, in two ways. We have done it so when they are on the page for like 11 seconds, mm -hmm. we get this pop-up, get a free uh, product. Mm -hmm. If you sign up here, uh, you get a free product for your next order. Mm -hmm. And we made it like a teaser. So you have to, it's like in the bottom, you get like this small, um, this small bar mm -hmm. where you can see, okay, Click here and uh, and subscribe to our newsletter and get a free product for your um, for your mm -hmm. next order. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. those were the two things that we did, and we did it just we did it just when uh, this uh, coronavirus uh, came to Denmark, mm -hmm. um, because then we had the time to do it, mm -hmm. and we just wanted to like try it out. Mm -hmm. But we should have done it for a long time ago mm -hmm. because. As mm -hmm. said, we could see we got every week we got like between five hundred and thousand more um, mm -hmm. newsletter um, mm -hmm. subscribes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, so that that's that's like, amazing, man. That's amazing. Yeah, that's like it wasn't a prioritize from mm -hmm. our side because mm -hmm. we thought it was just no. That's annoying for the for the people. Yeah. But if you if, but if you if you use the pop-ups right. Mm -hmm it can actually um, increase the value for the customers. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, I like right after this call, I will go to your website in incognito mode and I will test it by myself. <laughs> <laughs> no, listen, that, that, honestly, honestly, the, the reason why I, ha I really enjoy this type of conversation because that's a feedback from you, uh, mm. which is a good share points, you know, and then like, I, I can just bring this value to some other, you know, uh, customers. Yeah. So th this is really awesome. All right. So let's do this way. I mean, like, um, as a, as a takeaway from this entire conversation, that was really, really useful for me. And I'm sure that will be useful for all of our readers. Uh, I mean, if, if you would start and like entire the new e-commerce business online, um, what will be, or, or maybe for someone who is starting it over like a uh, hustling, uh, what will be like three key points that you want to advise, you know? So I would actually say, um, like you have to focus on selling the products. So I'm, as said, I'm, I'm not from the e-commerce, uh, like, uh, uh, market uh, from always. I've just got into it for, for a couple of years ago. So, but we were, we did have too much uh, focus on like doing it right and do it um, like this button has to be this color and mm -hmm. it has to mm -hmm. be right there. So better to, to get a, a good website running and get all the, and like get all the, the bullet points and all the USPs out there. Tell the, 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 the customers, okay, here you get this and this and this. Why do they have to buy at your place instead of the other place? So really have this focus on the selling uh, mm -hmm. part of it. And like I said, this newsletter, um, it's definitely, definitely not dead. So newsletter, keep them going more and more and more. <laughs> <laughs> and focus on signups, focus on signups because if you get them in, you can like the when they buy second and third time it's very very cheap for you to get those buys mm -hmm. retention yeah retention is number key right yeah that's awesome man so what wh i mean i think i think uh at this point uh from my end feedback also for our readers guys please subscribe to our newsletter <laughs> Because we will be doing some awesome video with the real guys who is really doing the business, you know, making making quite a bit of 
uh, expertise from the from the real shit. So subscribe to our niche cloud agency newsletter. Go ahead, try Scandinavian market out. Visit Sex Shop DK if you need to. Uh, and uh, we'll be happy if if you will have any questions. Uh, you will be able, you can send uh, to Tony via email contact, and he will be able to advise. So. Uh, man, thank you so much for your time. I really appreciate it. That was really useful even for me, and I'm sure this will be useful for the buyers as well. So stay safe, say hi to the family, uh, you know, and uh, enjoy, enjoy your, the rest of the week and the weekend. You too, Paul. Right. Thank you. Thank you. Bye-bye.